Hello angels, welcome to today's PSHE lesson. I hope you're all well, and I also hope that your family members are doing fantastic. So today's PSHE lesson, Wednesday the 20th of May, we are looking at keeping safe. What does safety mean? Safety means keeping yourself and others free from harm or danger. It also means taking care not to bump or fall or run into things. It means to avoid accidents by being careful with what you are doing. So this is what I would like you to do today. I would like you to think about this, have a discussion with the people in your household. Remember, this is a family PSHE, so I don't need to tell you not to sit by yourselves and answer these questions. It's a discussion. I would like you to get other opinions and other viewpoints as well. So what kinds of places or situations should we think about its safety? So I've given you three examples. So we have a sign that says wet floor. So when we see that, we have to think about safety. We have to think about doors, getting our fingers trapped in doors. I know this has happened to me and I'm sure it's probably happened to quite a, a number of you. It's very painful. So we have to think about that when we're going through doors, keeping our hands to ourselves, just so we don't get our fingers trapped in the door. We also have to think about safety when we're crossing the road as well. So I've given you three examples. So it's now up to you. You can come up with as many, as many examples as you want. So there is no limit to this task. Okay. So what kinds of places or situations should we think about its safety? Next one. Can you think of jobs that require safety rules? So obviously think about all the jobs that you guys can think of. And that's where you can get to do your research. And by research, I, I don't just mean being on the computer or on the phone. You can speak to your adults as well, because I know that most of you, your adults work. So this would be a good discussion point to find out from them what safety rules do they have to think about at work. So I would like you to write down the job on one side and then next to it on the other side, you have safety rules. So say, for example, if somebody works in construction, so I will write construction and then next to it, I have to think about what safety rules would they need to have in construction. They have to have the proper equipment, the right hat, the right gear, goggles, and so on. Okay, so that's what I'd like you to do. Again, you are not limited to how many jobs and safety rules that you can write. It's up to you as much as you want. Okay. So I would like you again to discuss with your household and answer the following questions. Now, remember, do not copy out the questions and then write the answers underneath. That's not necessary. So you can just write number one, you write the answer next to it. Number two, you write the answer next to it and so on. OK, so no need to copy out the questions. So remember, pause the video and then you can go through the questions. So number one, what does being responsible mean? Why should safety matter to you? What are the differences between safety at home and safety in the community? Is there good safety? and bad safety. In your ideal job, what safety measures do you think needs to be in place? So number five, I'm very much looking forward to you guys answering that one. So in your ideal jobs, I know you don't have jobs now and you all have a long way before you actually start working, but you all seem to have an idea of what kind of jobs you would like to have in future. So you can start with that. So in this, your dream job or in your ideal job, what safety measures do you think needs to be in place? And again, you can speak to your adults who are working to find out what safety measures do they have in place at their jobs. So staying safe quiz. Mm, lovely. I know you all love quizzes. Now with this one, you don't have to write in the answer and submit it into us. But if you want to, then please feel free. I never say no to anything that you guys write. So you pause the video and this is a quiz, something fun that I'd like you to do with your households and then um, see how you guys answer. OK. So this is your task. I would like you to design either a pamphlet, a flyer or a poster. Your design can be based on any topic of your choosing. So it can be about food, sports, animals, the web. It's up to you. Anything you want. I would like you to create safety guidelines for other people to read based on that topic that you have chosen. So I want you to think of your target audience because that's very, very important. So have them in mind when you're doing your pamphlet, your flyer or your poster. So is it going to be for children? Is it going to be for adults? 
teenagers? Is it going to be for children in reception, professional workers? It's up to you. So I've given you three different examples yeah, of pamphlet, flyers, and posters and what you need to do. So again, keep your target audience in mind because that's very, very important. Because if you're making a poster, I need to know who the poster is for. If you're making, for example, somebody has made this lovely poster on how to use medicine safely. Now, this will not be for a child in nursery because in nursery, they're unable to read yet. So that will not work for a child in nursery. That's what I mean about having your target audience in mind. You all know I love proverbs. So I have given you six proverbs here from different parts of the world. And I think already some of you would have spotted this one and said, but wait, Miss Kalu, we don't speak Patwa. There's a Jamaican proverb there, but you don't need to speak Patwa. It's been translated in English. See, I think of everything. So what I'd like you to do is I want to know what do these proverbs mean to you? And by you, angels, I don't just mean you. I mean you, your household, your siblings. What do these proverbs mean to you? Now, you've got six proverbs there. You can do all six. I have no problem with that. Or you can do at least two, let's say three, because you guys are in year five. So I know you can do a whole lot more than two. So choose at least three proverbs and then tell me what do they mean to you. Or what you can do is you can choose one. Your adults can choose one. So your mom can choose one. You choose one. Your dad, your siblings, you get the idea. That way everybody chooses one different proverb. And then you can write what each one means to you. Okay. Lastly, reading is the key to learning. So this is our last PSHE lesson for this um, term. And then, of course, we're coming into the half-term holiday. So again, remember, read every day. There is no excuse whether you're at home and whether school is in session, whether you're um, at your grandma's house, whether you're on holiday. I know that right now we're all still under quarantine and lockdown. But no matter what happens, you always have opportunities, I hope, to read every day because the reading part covers everything. You need reading for PE. You need reading for science. You need reading for humanities. You need reading for mathematics. You need to read. Okay, angels? So read, read, read. All right? So go do your assignments and we look forward to receiving them. Take care.